Hi guys, welcome to this new lecture. This is a very important lecture and I want you to understand it very well and please ask all the questions that you will have to understand it even better. In this lecture, we are going to cover time interpolation or temporal interpolation. Time interpolation means we are going to change the speed in between two keyframes. You notice that our character here started from this keyframe to this keyframe, then the speed is constant between the two keyframes. And actually he will come to an abrupt stop. If you run a bit our animation, we notice that the guy comes in and you know, just stops. Be that is because the speed he started with in this keyframe, it's the same speed that he ends up with and then it goes directly to zero. Now, this is not very natural and this does not create, you know, smooth animations. Let's take an example here. I will create a new composition. We don't care about the name or anything except the size. And we take one of our birds, for example, the white one, drop it here, make it a bit smaller and create a very simple animation using the position. I will keyframe the position at the beginning, come after one second, hold the guy and move it here. Now, what do you notice here? If I select the two keyframes and I right click, I go to keyframe interpolation. You notice here temporal interpolation is linear, meaning the time is a linear here. There is no change of speed. And the spatial interpolation is also linear. We can care less about that now. I will click OK. Naturally, you will start the speed here slowly, gain momentum, go faster, come in and slow down to a stop. This is how a car functions, for example. We can get the birds to function the same way. So in the, our case now here, if we trim our workspace area to this, we notice that he's going the same speed. After Effects give us the technique to alter the speed in between two keyframes. And we can use the easy way, or we can use the more complicated way, which will give you, you know, fantastic animations. Let's look at the easy way. I will select this keyframe, right click on it, and notice this is the last keyframe. Okay, this is the end keyframe. I will go to keyframe assistant. I have easy is, easy is in, and easy is out. I will not be saying easy is in, I will say is in, is out. So what is is in? It means easing into a keyframe. It means the speed will slow down when it gets nearer to that keyframe. I'll click on it and notice exactly what happened to the frames. Now you have a certain constant speed in the middle and even from the beginning, but at the end, the frames came very near to each other. It means it's gonna go pretty slow to reach the last keyframe. And look how the keyframe has changed, looking like an arrow to the outside. This means easing into a keyframe, it's easy in. If you run your animation, you notice it's smoother at the end. The guy doesn't slam into a stop, but smooth into the keyframe. Now there is another one that you can use. I'll stop the animation, put him in the middle here, click on this keyframe, right click on it, and go to keyframe assistant, and there is easy is out. Easy is out or is out is about easing out of a keyframe. So when you have a beginning keyframe, you don't want to start at extreme speed. You want to start from speed maybe zero, and then you gain speed as you move out of the keyframe. I will click on is out, and here you are, the same has happened. So it's gonna be slow, then go faster. Now in between we have a constant speed, and then go slower and come to a stop. Let's run our animation from here, press space bar. You notice now the guy is moving much smoother. It's moving from a slow speed to a higher speed than slower speed to stop. And that's pretty natural. It's like when you're standing up. If you want to stand and walking, you will stand at the speed of two meters per hour, and then you walk at three or four kilometers per hour, whatever you want. Cool, guys, and the cars function the same. When you press on the fuel, it doesn't go to 100 kilometers per hour. It just starts slowly. You notice it starts slowly, gains speed, and when you want to stop the car, of course, you're not gonna hit the brakes when you hit the wall. You're gonna hit the brakes just before the wall, so it comes to a smooth stop. So this is the concept of ease in and ease out. How do we apply it? We can come to the keyframe, keyframe assistant is in and is out. Now, let's take the guy in the middle here. So now, this is a, an in-between keyframe, and we want to take him up here. 
Now, notice that the keyframe shape has changed, yet I did not apply any is in or is out. This keyframe is in between two other keyframes that are eased. I will right click on this keyframe, go to keyframe assistant now. This is not the end to ease it in. This is not the beginning to ease it out. So we want to ease in and out, meaning it comes slowly into the keyframe and it leaves the keyframe even the same speed. I will click on it. Notice how the frames here have changed. If you go back here, these frame became nearer and so on, depending also on the time. If you make the time longer here, if I select all the keyframes, press Alt and move them up, you notice now you can really appreciate it a bit better. Now here the frames are easing in, the speed is slowing to a stop and then slowing out. Now actually this has come to a complete halt. I will press the space bar and notice the guy slows and comes out. So let's select this keyframe now, right click on it, go to keyframe interpolation and you notice this is a Bezier one. So now it's using the Bezier. But where is Bezier here? We know Bezier is a curve and we need to see that curve. We don't see any curve here. This is why After Effects has provided us with another powerful tool, which is the graph. If you click on the graph, you can select the position. Notice now this keyframe in time is a Bezier keyframe. It has two handles that are independent. So if I move this one up, meaning the speed at this point coming out will be, you know, faster. And the speed coming here will be slower. But I can move this one like, like this and now notice what's happening. It's going to be very slow. This is the concept of Bezier. I'm not going to continue here. I'm just showing you where is the Bezier. I will undo this. So this is the Bezier. Now we have other options here where we can make it continuous Bezier or we can make it roving in time. Roving in time is very interesting. So this is the concept of is in, is out and is in. In summary, you is out of a first keyframe, for example, and then you ease in to the last keyframe. In between, somewhere on the motion path, you will want to use ease in and out. That's fantastic. In the next lecture, we are going to create a practical motion using our birds. I'll see you then.